Hey everyone, it's Project SPC, and I'm back today to do a review video on the One X Player Mini AMD 5800U. This will be the first of many videos, so if this interests you, subscribe and get notified of future videos. A big thanks to One Netbook for sending this over for a review. Everything you hear is my own opinion. This is also not a final production unit. I will go over specs, what's different compared to the Intel 1195 G7 Mini, and show some gameplay performance. So earlier this year, the One Netbook announced the next iteration of their One X Player series, the One X Player Mini with an Intel 1195G7 processor and a 40 watt hour battery. This was a welcome addition since we didn't have any form factors at the seven inch size with an Intel processor. I had the Intel Mini and I will do some comparisons in the next few days. Specs for this AMD unit include the 5800U with eight Zen 3 cores at 16 threads and Vega graphics at 2000 megahertz. 16 gigabytes of LPDDR4 RAM at 4266 megahertz. Your choice of either an 800 or a 1200p 7 inch touch display, 48 watt hour battery, and a built in gyro, which I will talk about more later on in this video. So the main differences between the AMD and Intel Mini are processor, straightforward, 5800U brings Vega 8 and the wide game compatibility that comes with that. This also makes the two USB-C ports become USB 3 with DP Alt mode, no more Thunderbolt. Screen, you get two choices with 800p being the new resolution. Although it looks like on the store, the 1200p is the only option at this moment. Battery, the AMD unit got a 20% bump in battery capacity, bringing it up to 48 watt hours. But that also comes at the cost of adding a little bit of weight. Finally, they've added a gyro as a sensor, which opens up the possibility to incorporate into gaming. Let's get into some gameplay. Here I have Halo Infinite. We're running at 25 watts, 800p, and I have the quality set at low. Here we have Elden Rings running at 800p and we are at low settings. Now we are actually at 60 FPS, which is pretty amazing. You can bump it up and you can get a little bit more uh, quality at the sacrifice of a few frames per second. You probably head down into the 50s. I did have this at high at one point and I was getting between 45 and 50 in that ballpark.
Let's talk about the gyro for a moment. So one netbook claims that this has a gyro built in and then you can use it for gaming. And as you can see here in device manager, we can actually see that accelerometer right now. And it is a Bosch BMI 160. Out of the box, there is no integration between the two. Windows just sees that as a sensor and the controller as a controller and there's no integration of those two. So uh, a good friend and a community member named Ben and another gentleman by the name of Casper H have gone ahead and created some software that will combine the two and will have all sorts of settings and things like that that you can configure to make the gyro work for your game. And I'm gonna show that to you real quick. So this interface is not final and I am just gonna show you uh, quickly what it looks like. So in the software, you've got some configurations for the gyro. You can set uh, um, yaw and roll to be a certain steering method. You can also switch to a, a racing game optimized setting or a, a first person or like a camera view optimized setting. And you can control the output, left, right, uh, left stick, right stick. You can also pick a button or a combination of buttons or always on that will activate the gyro. So if supposing you're doing like a first person shooter and you only wanted it when you're aiming, you could do the LT trigger. Um, lots of like little options that you can configure and really, really good effort by the both of them. This software looks really well refined. I'm gonna leave a link to their GitHub in the description below and a link to Ben's channel. Um, go support them if you can. Uh, let's show the on, so, okay, so there's two options you get to pick. You get to pick a DualShock 4 controller or an X input controller, Xbox 360 controller. The software will emulate that. It'll take away the built-in controller and it'll take away the um, gyro and it'll put them together in an emulated controller. And then the system won't see the built-in controller. It'll only see the emulated controller. And all that magic will happen in the background. So a really good integration. You get to pick a DS4 or an X input controller. Um, X input gives you that compatibility across a bunch of games. Um, and you can set up the settings here how you want it. And you can set it on a profile basis. You can actually set it up for a specific profile for a specific game. And there'll be like a default option as well that it will roll back to. DualShock 4, you can also set that up with Steam. Steam has some controller configuration and it does work with a DualShock 4 controller. So you can actually emulate just a DS4 controller and you can set up all your settings in Steam if you wanted to. They also came up with an overlay so you can kind of see in real time what this thing is doing. So here we are, I'm rotating the mini right now, I'm going back and forth. And in real time, you can see that it is moving on the screen. Now, one of the things we noticed is, is that there has to be some sort of calibration because if I stop, it's going to drift a little bit and this thing's going to rotate around even though that's actually not what's happening. Um, but that's something that can be ironed out if one netbook decides to support them. So really cool implementation by the both of them. Let's see it in action. All right, so I have the gyro app on. I have the overlay. Don't mind the orientation of the controller that has to be calibrated. So I'm gonna use this as an X input controller. So the actual gyro is gonna be overlapped with the emulated controller. And we're gonna go ahead and try out a racing game. And would you look at that, it actually works. So here I have a game called Super Flight. We're gonna try and mimic like a flight simulator type game. I have it set up so when I press the LT trigger, it will activate the gyro. So see that? All right, let's go ahead and let's try it out. Wow, that's awesome. Wow. 
You know, just having this gyro here really makes you interact more with the game. It just adds another layer to how you play things. I think that's, I think that's awesome. You know, you could do a flight simulator game. You could do some sort of space game, Rogue Squadron, something like that. Um, you could really get an extra layer out of your gaming experience. All right, let me focus on actually flying here. I think the settings need to be optimized a little bit for this game, but that's not a big deal. Wow, this is just oh, spectacular. Nope. So I wanted to test out the gyro aiming here. I have it set up so that when I press the LT button, it engages the gyro. So let's go ahead and let's take this guy out. Oh, beautiful. That is awesome. Oh, that is cool. Did you see that? Let me show you again here in just a moment. Hold LT and now I can aim fine tune with the gyro. That is awesome. So you can order the 5800U right now and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. They have a steep discount now, 21% off. If you pick the 512 gigabyte version, you're looking at just a thousand bucks and you will get a uh, protection bag as well. They are useful. You've seen them in the back of my video earlier on. Um, I do use it to put it in my backpack and it does protect the unit. It is very handy. So this is a good deal. If you're thinking about getting it, now's the time. And this is the 1200p version. So overall, I'm really loving this 5800U unit. It's got the compatibility that you get with AMD. We've now got gyro support, which is an awesome feature. And if we can get the software um, fully implemented. It's gonna be amazing to play games with. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to playing Halo as soon as I'm done with this video because I really wanna use that uh, gyro aiming thing. So it's gonna add a whole new layer to your gaming experience. You do get the bigger battery and I will do some battery tests here in the future. If you've got some recommendations for some games to play, you can leave those in the comments below. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe and thanks for watching.